I'm going to be unboxing the Kotori Minami Nendroid. She's one of my favorite characters. She is Nendroid number 458. And I recently purchased her from Mandrake. Upon first view, she is very cute. With this huge picture of her on the front. She's got a gray and white themed box. And as you probably already know, all the Nendroids in the series have a smaller box. So just a comparison. Quite the bit of difference. Just a little bit. <laughs> Let's get the unboxing part. Okay. Just got a cute inner brown box. Oh, with a huge 458 inside. Alright. Get everything out of there. Basic instruction card. And her. Got our face with the extra neck part, our extra face plate, oh that's cute, let's focus, there we go, that face though, a little blush on the cheeks, just the lightest hint of blush, little nose, and little earrings, that's amazing. Wow. Hey. Got a leg. That's a cute little garter. Got some arm pieces. Get one, two, three, four, and it looks like an extra hand. Ooh, that one's not coming out. There we go. We have an assortment of arms and hands with her heart gloves. Pointing fingers. An extra hand. And a little leg. And now for the funnest part, Kotori herself. Here we go. Oh my gosh. She's beautiful. She's so cute. Get all the plastic off her. Let's see. Her hair piece comes off. Oh, and they're separate pieces. Go. Her signature little side tail. I think it's the most adorable little hairdo. So that's a ball joint. There we go. For skirt, look at the detailing. That's amazing. All the different ruffles. Oh, and her undies. <laughs> that garter. I'm in love with that garter. It's a great. And the skirt. I want this skirt for me. It's 
so pretty. All right. Get her back together. So her arm is moved. Right now she's got her winking face plate on. Do a little close up. There we go. I'd say she's pretty well done. I don't see any paint errors, scuff marks. Let's try out her other poses. Did her other face plate, put her on her stand, and I can already tell that there's a few things that I really like about this Android. Her midsection. Because this point is long enough so that it actually stays in the Nendroid. I have one that she kind of falls off. She's an older Nendroid, but I love that that piece is long enough that she doesn't pop out every time I move her. I also love that the holes in her arms for her hands are so big. It's easier to pop in her hands. Oh, when you're not dropping her arms, of course. There we go. It fits snug and it's not falling out at all. It's the perfect size. So there's look number two. Can I just say that I love that you don't have to remove the neck joint out of the body just to change the face. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Alrighty, we're going back to her winky face. I'm going to change up her arms. And... Another little look at her. In a different pose. She looks like she's having fun here. Oh, she's adorable. On second Love thought, Live Dance Party! 